hello guys so uh, mahindra automotive north america promised a redesign of the Roxor, and now we have a sneak peek of what we think will actually be uh, the new 2021 mahindra Roxor. it is nothing like the 2020 mahindra thar uh, which went underwent a serious redesign in india and other markets where it sold the Roxor uh, was forced to be redesigned kind of by the united states international trade commission after it was dragged in there for arbitration by fiat chrysler america fca so uh, if you want to know fiat chrysler uh, is the parent company of uh, jeep they make the jeep wrangler and uh, other jeep models and they claim that the mahindra Roxor infringed upon uh, their trade dress so basically what that means is somebody looking at the Roxor would think it's a jeep and then that would also affect the sales of their jeep vehicle so uh, initially mahindra did a, a first redesign for the 2020 model year in the united states that was deemed unacceptable by jeep and uh, they pursued with their lawsuit and now mahindra has to do a further redesign so there are certain specific uh, points which uh, were brought up by the lawsuit and mahindra has sought to 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 address each and every one of those points so the first one which is the most obvious would be the hood so if you look at the hood of my 2018 mahindra Roxor, uh, which is basically a cj5 mahindra had the license to make these vehicles uh, for overseas markets especially the indian subcontinent you would see that the hood tapers as it comes towards the front the second point is uh, the hood latches uh jeep claims that having the hood latches outside uh of the of of the body where you can actually see uh, the hood latch on both sides of uh, the of the of the Roxor infringes on their trade dress so now there are no hood latches for the new 2021 uh, mahindra Roxor. with that being said even the 2018 2019 2020 rock stars are all uh, ready to have internal hood latches that's how the vehicle is sold in india apart from the external hood latch you have an internal mechanism like you would find on any ordinary vehicle so that one was also addressed uh, the third thing which is very obvious uh, would be the grill and uh, one of the points they talked about on the trade dress uh, lawsuit was that the grill uh, looked like that of uh, an older jeep so with the new 20 uh, 20 redesign you could see they changed the look of the grill but that still wasn't satisfactory and uh, they went back to the drawing board and they did they redid the design on the grill the new one looks uh, kind of iffy might grow on us but we shall see and uh, one other thing that happened when they did that grill redesign was the headlights moved outer so now they sit uh, wider on the front of the hood uh, or the grill then the next thing was hey, uh, the fenders extended beyond the grill as you can see on my 2018 Mahindra Roxor so with the new redesign uh, the fender doesn't go beyond the grill anymore um i would see a case where somebody could very easily make a flat fender uh with extended you know with uh, bigger tires or uh if you're running spacers you could easily just attach a fender flare so these are some of the teaser images that were leaked online earlier i don't own the copyright to this image and any image of the 2021 Mahindra Roxor, which you see right here. Um, so yeah, the fenders were chopped. That way they don't extend beyond the grill. And that also solved another problem, which was uh, Jeep claimed that the wheel well had a trapezoidal shape. So once they took away the front part of that fender, uh, of the fenders, 
you see it no longer has a trapezoidal shape and the last point which so far hasn't been addressed is that jeep claims the door is uh the door entry the, is ke is kept out of the body with part of the body panel still visible below now tell me i don't know how <laughs> like almost every vehicle i see out here has a little bit of the panel below so that will be a very difficult one to to address um all in all uh, the new 2021 Mahindra Rocksaw might look weird, uh, but remember when the 2020 came out, uh, people didn't like it initially, but the look kind of grew up on us and uh, people now, uh, you know, kind of like it. So uh, the 2021, I think, is going to be a smashing success. Why? Because at first glance, it might look ugly, but the potential is endless and then the, the underlying structure is still exactly what people have, have been asking for a capable simple off-road vehicle so um, most people who buy these by the way they go ahead and uh, do very serious modifications you know lift kits bigger tires they put in heat ac so uh, i think the response so far has been good uh, some people are a bit negative, but I think if it addresses Jeep's concerns, uh, then that would be a good thing for the Mahindra, uh, for the Rockstar community. Uh, we're very grateful that Mahindra did not give up on the US market. There is still a lot of passion involved. Um, so we shall wait and see what happens next. The configurator is still down on the Mahindra website which means they haven't started building uh, this 2021 rock source in large numbers. The other thing I would like to comment also, uh, please just be um, respectful if you're making comments below. Uh, don't disparage any manufacturer. Um, this is just business and uh, there's no need to get to names calling and stuff like that. Same thing always happens with uh, when you talk about engine oil or if you're a Ford or a Chevy guy, you know, people get all uh, wound up and they end up uh, using words that I think we shouldn't uh, be using on uh, YouTube. So, yeah, that's what uh, we have, we know so far. So the good news, Mahindra hasn't given up on the US market. Uh, a lot of positive feedback, knowing that the Rockso is going to be available for the 2021 year. And uh, yeah, just can't wait to see what the aftermarket comes up with and uh, I would like to know what you guys think about the new design for me I'm not so concerned because so long as the fundamentals are still the same underneath uh, the hood I really don't see uh, uh, why there should be too much cause for concern it's basically still the same vehicle uh, with just some minor tweaks to satisfy um, a lawsuit that was brought against the company and hopefully the small cottage industry in the United States that has grown around supplying parts uh, aftermarket parts for the Mahindra Rocksaw will survive and actually uh, grow and get bigger and bigger it's uh, a testament to the fighting spirit of the management of Mahindra Automotive North America. They are very dedicated. They've done their homework and uh, they brought a vehicle that America has been craving for a long time. And uh, what I think is going to happen is that new redesign will get everybody asking themselves what's going on with this design is weird. And then more and more people will find out about the rock tour and that will just be a win-win situation for the whole uh, for road uh, for off-road community so uh, with that i'll be signing off and uh, just notice the gentleman on your right he saw the rock saw heard the engine and he was like what is this and i get that a lot when i drive the rock saw around here so he just saw it and you will notice he'll come out of his truck and <laughs> take a peek all right thanks guys and see you on the next one